Inner Circle, the podcast for all Averitt Associates, no matter where you are or what you do. Don't forget to subscribe on your podcast app of choice so you can be sure not to miss out on new episodes. And now, LTL Operations Leader and host of the Winter Circle, Amos Rogan. Hey everybody, welcome to the Winter Circle Podcast. Uh, one of the things of why we're doing this podcast is, is really to show and highlight the how in why we do things and how we do things, serving our customers, providing opportunities for, for business, business growth, but growth within our associates as well as far as career paths go, and then how we give back to our communities as well. It's, it's the culture, it's the Averitt culture, and that's one of the reasons why we're so fortunate to be able to bring this podcast with, uh, to you and for you. And, and today we have a special guest, our president, Barry Blakely. Barry, welcome to hey, the podcast. Hey, good morning, Amos. Um, and, and really appreciate you being here. One of the things that I want to talk about because of your longevity with the company and just the longevity in the transportation industry as a whole, even before Averett, is our culture and what you see different as far as Averett goes and how we have positioned ourselves, not only internally with what we do, but also how we portray to the general public and our customers as well. Well, Amos, I think our culture, you know, it, it defines us as a company and, and how we treat one another as well as how we go to the market uh, and, and offer solutions for our customers. You know, um, it, our culture is very unique in the fact that uh, it, it's, it's one that has, has not changed over the years. You know, we've been in business now for in excess of 50 years and uh, our core beliefs in the very beginning is, is what we... Uh, aspire to do today. You know, one of the things uh, that I saw just recently uh, is an old ad that, that we had put out, a, an old marketing piece, mm-hmm. and you read that marketing piece, and it's like it just came out yesterday. There's a lot of similarities, and we really haven't changed our tune that much. We haven't. You know, I, I, along those same lines, I, I saw the uh, notes from a business meeting that we had back in the late 80s, and it reads like something that we might talk about today. So yeah, our, our beliefs still are, are making sure that we uh, offer opportunities for our associates, that we hire well, that we, uh, we provide innovative uh, solutions for our customers, and certainly stay engaged in, within our community. And, and talking about some of the byproducts, you know, I know that you hear this as well. When you see somebody, oh, you work at Averitt, yeah. You all have the the cleanest trucks going down the road. You you never look like, uh, you know, you never wash your truck or your your drivers and your uniforms look so good. That really is a byproduct of some of the things that we do internally. It, it absolutely is. You know, our, our it, it's our brand, really. You know, when you look at at, at our equipment, you look at the clean uniforms, the uh, state of the art facilities that we have. It, it really to the to the public, that is Avert Express, but we're so much more than just yeah. a pretty face, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, what I think in terms of operations and the quality that we provide and everything, and there was a, a statistic that came out not too long ago by Gary Whitaker, Director of Cargo Claim mm-hmm. Services, that for every thousand shipments that we handle, we only have two claims two. filed. Yep. And to me, that is just unbelievable as far as how we're able to take care of our customer shipments. You know, we've really seen a, a lot of improvements in terms of product quality, over, especially over the fi- past five years, I guess. Um, you know, we've seen, as you've already mentioned, our cargo claims have continued to move in the right direction, but we've also seen transit time, on-time delivery. Uh, a lot of the metrics that, that we look at each day have continued to improve. So, you know, it's a result of a, of a, of a really strong team effort. I think it's a good vision of, by our leadership, great execution by our people, and our customers uh, are rewarding us for that. Yeah, and it kind of goes back into what we've talked about in terms of Averitt beliefs, our belief system. The always Averitt, the Averitt way, or profit sharing and our associate mm-hmm. sharing. They're all connected in together. When one does really good, the other three do really good as well. So it's it, it all is interconnected amongst each other. It is, you know, and you can relate that back to the winner circle yeah. easy, easily. You know, it, 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 when our when our customers win, our associates win, and it ensures our a strong future for the company. The thing about it is, is within those beliefs. 
there it ensures our future as far as just like you said uh, you know we know when it comes to always over it we're we're always going to be who we are from a management standpoint from an ownership standpoint from everything that we do uh, as a company we're all sticking together nothing is ever going to change and our associates can take that to the bank as far as job security and the ability to be promoted from within yeah, always Avert. It, it it really speaks to our future. Yeah. You know um, that that Avert will always uh, may have the same uh, vision that we have today, and that's taking care of our our people and making sure that we are taking care of our customers. And, and you know the 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 profit sharing, the benefits side of it. You know we have a a fantastic benefits package where you know you're talking about the medical and, and mm-hmm. things of that nature, but. You know, our profit sharing this past year was Great unbelievable. Year. Great year, uh, yeah. You know, 8% of, of, of wages is, is fantastic as far as that goes. And, and that all goes back into us teaming up together to be able to do things appropriately to handle our customer shipments. So uh, our benefits side of things is just tremendous. You know, last year, revenue was down a little bit from where we were in 2023, but we still maintained a high level of efficiency and, and productivity and it did result in a, in a pretty good OR and as a result you know we had eight percent of our compensation uh, was uh, our profit share was eight percent of our compensation last year and we started off in January we had a pretty good year yeah. or a pretty good month excuse me um, so I, I think that there, there is a, uh, uh, a mailer that's coming out uh, later in the month that will be uh, showing the uh, pro- profit share and contributions for, for each associate. So we need to look forward to Yeah, absolutely. Folks will look forward to seeing that. I, I hope they do. I mean, mm-hmm. because it, it's, it's, it's really a, a result of what they have done in their efforts as collectively as, as a team, no matter if it's LTL, dedicated truckload, distribution mm-hmm. and fulfillment, integrated. It doesn't matter whether you're here at corporate or out in the field doing whatever uh, for the team. You contributed to that, so you're reaping the rewards. Absolutely, you know, you're sharing the effort and you're sharing the rewards. And the great yeah. thing about our profit sharing is truly the sky's the limit. You know, we've seen a lot of a lot of growth in our profit sharing over the last few years, and I'm excited to see where we continue, how we can continue to improve. Well, just in that vein, and and I know that you've heard this for many years, as have I, as have I. Mr. Sasser always says we're very proud right. of our past but we're more More excited excited, about the future. Mm -hmm. And that's really how that is. I mean, we're always looking to be creative, innovative, and advance the ball forward because because of the awards that we won in 2023, Mm -hmm. the Massio Awards, the Quest for Quality, uh, our on-tour logistics team winning uh, their prestigious award. Mm -hmm. We're the ones that's being chased now. We're we're not chasing, we're the ones being chased, so we gotta continue to stay out front. Have to continue to raise the bar. We talked about that earlier in the year, in in January, and you know, I I think we've done an excellent job in separating ourselves from some of our competition, but they're not gonna, they're not gonna stay where they are. They they want to continually improve, constantly improve from where they are, and and we need to do the same. So, what I would like to talk about is, is how we stay ahead, and some of the things, whether or in leadership or not in leadership, it really doesn't matter the uh, the job level or the level of accountability that we have within the team. There's always some things that we can do and do better in order to make sure that we are staying abreast of what's going on in front of us and how we can be better right. in the future. I, you know, I think the very first thing we want to talk about is trying to stay accident and injury free. Yeah. You know, uh, very important for us to have a safe working environment, not only for our folks, uh, but for our people, but for the driving public as well. Yeah, and, and you know, the the pre-shift meetings, the agenda meetings that we have, uh, the conversations that we have out on the platform and mm-hmm. how to load trailers better, our dock mentors and, and, and uh, driver trainers and those folks who really create the standard for everybody else to go, they need to be available. They need to be able to listen and provide feedback. And they, even though maybe they're not in leadership, they're still in that, uh, role model type of role. You know, success really begins with communication. So as we we try as we as we go into the year, I think it's it's critical that we all have have uh, opportunities to talk about our vision, to talk about our plan, 
and to make sure that we relay the message to what each associate's part is in helping us succeed. Kind of looking at what we do and from a belief standpoint, what the value is to uh, being an Abert associate from the, you know, from top to bottom, benefits all the way down to uh, being a good, just being a good teammate, mm -hmm. uh, th those types of things. N knowing that we are the cream of the crop and it's okay to say that, it's okay to be a little confident when right. it comes to that, not necessarily cocky, but confident. How do we, and what would be your message to everyone as far as how do we use the tools that have been provided to okay. us through the culture of, of our company, how do we get better from here? Well, I think the first thing we do is, it's it, yes, you're, you're right, it is okay to be proud and to, and to be confident in who we are. Uh, but we also need to understand that it's all about continuous improvement. You yeah. know, uh, our customers expect us to make sure that we have a consistency level in, in terms of service and quality of product. So I think we, we have to make sure that, that one, we, we, are, we communicate, as I've already mentioned, mm -hmm. um, and that we all understand that we, as individuals, we have a part to play. We have to show up ready to, to, to achieve our results each day um, and to perform at the highest level. Well, Barry, we really appreciate you coming on here. Uh, it's It's been a privilege. First time you've been on since it, we've had the Winter Circle it's podcast. It's been some time. Yeah, yeah. so uh, uh, maybe we'll have you on a few more times I, I this appreciate year. appreciate that. But, uh, folks, we really appreciate you listening uh, to this podcast. Uh, we want you to be able to take these tools, to understand these tools. If you have any questions about these things, get with your leadership. Ask questions. Be inquisitive about who we are because we are who you are. You are a reflection of our team. So we want to be able to make sure that we put the best foot forward to our customers, to the public, and to each other. And it all begins with you. So we thank you for everything that you do. Stay blessed, stay safe, and we'll talk to you next time. <music>